Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jamie and you should hit that subscribe button. I am a junior slash senior at Binghamton University. I'll be graduating in December, so that's the confusion with the grades. But I'm here today to do a highly requested video, which is to talk all about Binghamton, all about food, housing, all that jazz, and I am so excited to be talking about this. I don't reflect the university's views and I don't reflect any opinion other than my own. Binghamton is a state school in the state of New York. We are considered to be the like number one state school. We are a university, so we have five to six different colleges. I think it's six now. It's Harper College of Liberal Arts, which is like all your general majors, Watson School of Engineering, School of Management, Decker College of Nursing, um, the School of Community and Public Affairs, which is CCPA, and we have a new pharmacy school. So six schools, all really exciting. We have undergrad and graduate programs, and my experience is that of the undergrad, so that is what I'm here to talk about today. As a freshman, you are required to live on campus, and there are five communities that you'll possibly be placed in, Newing, Dickinson, Hinman, CAW, and Mountain View. And all of them have different great perks, benefits, and cons to themselves. So Newing is corridor style room, so it's three rooms, and then each of these three rooms share two bathrooms. So one has a toilet and a sink, and one has a shower and a sink. So you all always have a sink, and there's also public bathrooms on every floor, which is great. Newing is a great place to live to get like that corridor style experience rather than a suite style experience without having long communal baths. So then Dickinson is their suites but they call them flats because they don't have common rooms. They have like a little common vestibule hallway but the way that it works in Dickinson is that flats are either comprised of four or five people. If you're four people there'll be four single rooms and you'll each have and they'll have two bathrooms so two people to a bathroom. Or you'll be in a five person which has one single room and two double rooms and there's also two bathrooms there so you'll split up three and two. Now I have the least amount of experience with CAW Hinman and Mountain View but CAW is a combination of corridor, corridor style rooms as well as suites and I believe you can have four or six person suites. Mountain View is the same way, um, suite style so there are four or six person suites and then Hinman I believe is suites. I'm not sure the exact amount of people per suite, but Hinman is known for having really, really great community. Um, so they have like dorm wars and a lot of great events. Whereas I feel like in Newing, I didn't get that like big community feeling. I was on Newing College Council. I was president of my building, which was so bizarre because I was a freshman, but cool time. Like I said, as a freshman, you are required to live on campus, but from my own experience I've noticed that a lot of people stay on campus for freshman and so sophomore year and then a lot of people move off campus for junior and senior year so when you move off campus you have a couple different options there are big like student housing complexes so like um, there's U Club, Twin River Commons, 20 Holly Street, University Lofts and Shenango Place those are like the big ones they have like amenities so they might have a hot tub or a gym or like community bonding events so those are like bigger apartment buildings where a lot of students will live and then there's also other options so houses and like standalone apartments downtown which are like also great options so the way Binghamton is set up is that the campus itself is in Vestal on Vestal Parkway and then there's the downtown area of Binghamton which is where a lot of like the restaurants and going out scene is so a lot of the off-campus housing apartments are downtown U Club is Pretty much right next to campus on Vestal Parkway and then all the other apartment complexes are pretty much downtown so if you do move off campus you're mo going to most likely be living downtown there are like university and county buses that like run everywhere so it's never really an issue getting to and from campus so my experience with this is that I actually moved off campus as a sophomore so I lived on campus my freshman year, I lived in Newing, like I said, and then I moved off campus and now I live in one of the big student apartments downtown. What they do now is that as a undergrad student, you're gonna fill out your housing request form in March or April to kind of figure out where you're living for the next year. But my freshman year, that was all the way in November. So it was very, very early and I did not have like a solidified friend group at that time. So like, it just made sense for me to go off campus because a lot of my friends were older and were moving off campus. So. I moved off campus with some of my friends but it was so that was the personally the right decision for me but most people do stay on campus for 
one to two years. I guess the main difference of living on campus and off campus is off campus you're obviously going to have a lot more freedom. There's no RAs, there's no like strict policies, you can have pets, things like that. So off campus you just have a lot more freedom, however on campus is central to everything on campus. So it's a short walk to class, it's a short walk to like the dining hall, off campus you have to make your own food, you have to buy groceries and things like that. So it's just kind of what you're going to want to prefer. I do prefer living off campus. I like making my own food. I like being in my own space. Let's talk about food. So on campus there are four dining halls, three at the moment because one of them is under renovation but will be opening in about a year and a half I believe and then there's the marketplace. So if you're an on-campus student you're going to have a meal plan. So the way that works at Binghamton is that you get a certain amount of money per semester and you pay like your food and you pay for your food that way so the standard meal plan is around nine hundred and fifty dollars and then you have nine hundred and fifty dollars for the semester so the thing about the dining halls is that the food is heavily subsidized so a plate of pasta would be around 76 cents because the food is subsidized so as long as you're using your meal plan in the dining halls you're going to be totally fine like you don't have to worry about running out of food things like that However, on campus there is also the marketplace, which is a lot of retail dining options. So there's Tully's, Subway, um, a pizza place, a Chinese place that is not subsidized. So those meals can be around five to ten dollars, which is going to drain your meal plan pretty quickly if you are not careful. So as an on-campus student with a meal plan, I do recommend eating in the dining halls. As a student, you can go to any of the dining halls. However, each residential community does have their own specific dining hall. So as a student in Newing or Dickinson, C4 is going to be your primary dining hall. It stands for Senango Champlain Collegiate Center. There's a lot of like th resources upstairs as well, but the dining hall is downstairs. And I think the special thing about C4 is that it has a kosher corner. If you keep kosher on campus, this is an option for you. They have meat and dairy meals, so that's all separate for you. And then there's also like a hot food station, a pasta station, things like that. It's your typical college dining hall food. They do have a salad bar. There is goldfish at the salad bar. What more can I say? As a student living in CIW, your primary dining hall is going to be CIW. And what is special about CIW is that they have a barbecue station as well as a vegan garden station. So if you are vegan, vegetarian, there's this whole big section where they like literally garden food for you and it's all there. and. It's really yummy. As a student living in Mountain View, your primary dining hall is going to be Appalachian. And the best part about Appalachian is the pasta bar. So they have like all different kinds of pasta and you pick what kind of sauce you want. You pick if you want protein, veggies, all that jazz. And it, Mountain View is up a giant hill. So I hated walking up there, but if it was warm, my the first thing I wanted to do was go up to Ab to get food. And then the fourth dining hall is Hinman, which is closed at the moment for renovations but Hinman was a great dining hall. They had like an Asian section. There was a um, pizza section. Like Hinman had all these great options and unfortunately it's closed. Also on campus, there is Nowell. Nowell is Night Owl. It is my favorite thing to ever grace this planet. It's basically a place where you can get chicken fingers, curly fries, pizza bites, mac and cheese bites. Like it's just so good. So those are kind of your options for on-campus dining. However, off campus there are so many options. So Binghamton is on Vestal Parkway, like I said, so it's like your typical parkway. So it has a lot of like your chain restaurants, so Chipotle, Panera Bread, Applebee's, Moe's. So it's like a lot of your chain restaurants. However, there is a kind of shopping center called University Plaza, and that is where you'll find Chipotle. You'll find another Tully's there, which is like chicken nuggets and stuff like that. And my personal favorite in University Plaza is Core Life. Core Life is your kind of salad, it's like a salad place and they also have broth bowls. It's so delicious, I talk about it in every vlog because I go there all the time. It's so good. Next to Core Life is Insomnia Cookies. So they deliver cookies anywhere in Binghamton up to 3 a.m. which is great. So that's kind of all the places right around campus. And then downtown there are a lot of cool restaurants, a lot of trendy restaurants. So. Lost Dog is known for their penne alla vodka. Thai Time has great Thai food. Kraft is like these little slider burgers. The Colonial, which is like bar food, which is so good. 
Dos Rios, Garage, our Mexican places, taco places. So good. There are so many great options in Binghamton for food. Moving on to things to do. There are lots of things to do on campus as well as off campus. On campus, the campus community is so diverse and that's like really shown in the amount of clubs that we have on campus. So I've been involved with Dickinson Community Players, which is a theater group. And then there's also another theater group for Hinman Production Company. So they're kind of like run out of these residential halls, but you don't have to be like, you don't have to live in that community to join their productions. And they put on productions, which are fun to be a part of. And they're just social communities. There's Pipe Dream, which is the student newspaper. There's acapella, and what's great about acapella is that they put on a dollar show every year. So you pay a dollar and you get to see all the groups perform, and then the next day they have auditions. So you can kind of catch the feel of all the groups if you're interested in music. Um, there is the Student Association Programming Board. My friends took over my channel. I'll link that down below. And Sophia, who took over the channel, is actually now in charge of the programming board. She is the vice president of programming for the university now, which is super cool for her. Um, there's also a lot of different student unions, so like Black Student Union, Muslim Student Union, um, there's Hillel and Chabad, which are for Jewish students, lots of great organizations on campus. There's also a cheese club, which I've heard is a really good time if you like cheese. I also want to talk a little bit about late night bang, so this is events on Friday and Saturday nights where they put on like great, like they show movies in the union, there's pizza, there's popcorn, there's like fun games, fun crafts, it's a great option if you like don't want to go downtown off campus there are a lot of fun activities to do i asked my friends to give me some of these so some of the ones i have from my friends are there's a farmer's market there are community gardens there's lots of parks like to walk around in some of the areas downtown are really really pretty and it's a great, like, great to explore there's community events so there's luma which is this big light show downtown every september which is the coolest thing ever it's free and like it, there's just it's like these lighting things projected onto the buildings it's so cool there's goat yoga there's art classes, like there's so much community downtown. It's so much fun. Just talking a little bit about pricing. Binghamton is a state school, like I said. So if you're in New York, obviously it is cheaper for you as a student to attend. It's a really low price for a really great education, in my opinion. Cost of living in Binghamton, I feel like is general, gener generally lower than like what I would pay for things on Long Island or in the city. So cost of living is gener generally lower. If you're out of state, they offer a lot of scholarships. Um, that way your tuition is cheaper as well and something that is great is that off-campus housing can be super cheap and super affordable so i think some of my friends pay around 450 dollars a month for rent which is great for them and like it makes the cost of living in binghamton a lot cheaper but education on campus so binghamton is a research institution which in my opinion means that freshman year science classes are going to be really hard they're kind of weed out classes so they want to like weed people off of the pre-med track and enter research so they're gonna lean you a lot towards research and a lot of like the psychology major is a lot of research like chemistry like a lot of things are a lot of research based majors i started off neuroscience and then that didn't work out too hot for me because like i said they are really hard classes so now i am an english major what i want to do with my life is to work in pr and we don't have a communications major the closest thing would be an som but som is a super hard school to get into at binghamton so i am an english major and something that is like really helpful for me is that there are a lot of internship opportunities on campus so i've interned in just like the office of media and communications i've interned in athletics i've interned with dining services so there's lots of different options on campus for whatever you kind of want to do we also like don't have an education major but i have a lot of friends in the education minor and they're like equipped with so many resources so i have a friend that like ta's for the johnson city mentor program so there's a lot of great resources on campus for your education the next two i think kind of go hand in hand so we have going out and then greek life so going out if you are around 21 in any state there are a lot of bars these are mostly on state street so there's the rath keller otherwise known as the rat tom and marty's venue or jimmy's there's a lot of bars um i hear they're super fun and then there's also a lot of frats so you definitely don't need to be in Greek life to attend fraternity parties. A lot of them have open parties and things like that. Why I found out about frat parties my freshman year before I was in Greek life was um, just like when I committed to Binghamton, a lot of frat guys friended me on Facebook and I accepted them. So they like invited me to their parties, which is a fun time. So like if you get random friend requests from guys at Binghamton, I strongly suggest 
accepting their request if you are interested in going out to frat parties but also you don't have to go out at Binghamton and there are a lot of like campus things like I mentioned late night Binghamton and your friends are always gonna want to hang out so like it's up to you so then let's talk a little bit about Greek life Greek life at Binghamton is not super huge but it's not small either I think it's about 30% of the campus which is a good amount of people I can really only speak much about the Panhellenic organization, however, there are seven councils, so there's like multicultural, the interfraternal council, there's the Asian sorority council, like there's a lot of different Greek organizations on Binghamton's campus, which are a lot of fun. We have seven Panhellenic sororities, which are a lot of fun to be a part of. We do formal recruitment. You cannot join Greek life until you are second semester freshman. So I am in a sorority. I love being a member of a sorority and like it's opened a lot of doors for me on campus, so, like friendship wise and things like that. The last thing I kind of want to talk about is orientation. Um, someone asked me to speak about this, so I'm just going to talk a little bit about what orientation is like. So orientation for me was a two-day event i got there on tuesday morning and i left on wednesday morning so i guess it's a one day event but you overnight so it's about 24 hours with an overnight which is a lot of fun a lot of workshops so like there was a presentation about sexual assault there were presentations about lots of things so there's a lot of sitting around and like listening to people but you're also able to make a lot of friends you stay overnight in one of the dorms so you get to meet a lot of people you get to make your class schedule they show you a little bit about what late night Binghamton is. So there's pizza, you can play bowling, you can go to ping pong. Like there's a lot of fun things to do at night. Patience just like a packed full like day of information, but it's also so much fun because you get to meet so many people and like see where you're living for the year. And like, it's a lot of fun. So I hope this video showed you guys a little bit about what Binghamton University is like. If you guys have any specific questions, you can ask down below. I have a lot of friends involved in every aspect of campus. I have friends in the scholars program. I have friends that live on campus. I have friends that live off campus. So if you have any questions, let me know because I can connect you with my friends. I can answer questions. And I hope to see you all at Binghamton. If you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.